Hey and welcome to this TJ Digital video on MATCAP materials. In this video I'm going to show you how MATCAP materials work and I'm also going to show you how you can create your own MATCAP material in Autodesk Maya using Shader FX. So let's get started. Here's the MATCAP material. These are sometimes referred to as LitSphere materials. And what's cool about them is that this is just a single square texture which represents a sphere and this is all you need to get this kind of shading. What's worth mentioning is that you can see that the shading follows the camera around. So as I rotate the camera or the model, the shading will always appear in the same manner relative to the camera. So I'm just going to show you how that works. Here's a representation of what's really going on. This green arrow represents the underlying surface direction. And as I move it around, you can see the green arrow on that sphere there in the perspective viewport moves around. So it shows you which part of the shading is actually going to be applied on that part of the model. And as you can see, as I move it along the ridge of the nose, for instance, you can see that somewhere around here is exactly where the nose points straight towards the camera. And as I go to the left, you can see that it samples from the left, left side of the sphere, etc. And I've also got a few other matte caps I can show you. Here's a glass effect, for instance. I've got a gold effect. And as you can see, there's lots of highlights on this gold sphere. And you can see that it actually adds up. It samples from this here highlight. And that highlight is appearing here on the chin. Now there's loads and loads of matte caps and lit sphere materials you can find online. Just Google a search for MATCAP or LitSphere and you'll find loads of these. And they're really easy to create yourself. You can just create a square photo and start painting your sphere or do whatever other method you want to create these textures. So let's continue to making a MATCAP material in Maya with Shader FX. Here's the Shader FX material I just used to show you the MATCAP. And I'm going to go through how to create this so you can follow along step by step. So I'll go ahead and create a new Shader FX material. And per default, you get this here traditional game surface shader, which is fine for several different things. But since I just want the color straight from the texture, I don't need all of these fancy things. So I'm going to delete this and create my own setup. And I need to go to advanced mode to be able to delete these and also access several different nodes which we're going to be using for the shader. So now I can delete these. And I'll go ahead and start by showing you the core node in all of this called uh, Vertex World Normal. This will give me the direction of the surface here and specifically this here World Normal. The thing is we get this in world space and we need it, need it in view space. So I'm also going to need this here node called world view. This is the transformation matrix. So uh, we can then multiply these two together. So the world normal with the matrix here and we'll get the normals, the direction in view space instead. And I'll show you how this looks. So uh, in order to display color on our model, we will need to create these here core nodes. Uh, I know these by heart. I've done them a few times. So I'll need a hardware shader. The hardware shader needs a technique node. The technique node is going to need a pass node. Uh, here we go. Pass node. Uh, the pass node is going to need a vertex shader and a pixel shader. You can see these are highlighted with a red ring around, which indicates that they are required um, inputs. So it's the one called vertex shader group. There you go. And lastly, the pixel shader. So pixel shader. Now I can plug uh, my final color, which I want out here, into this here float4 input. And just to show you how the normal looks like in view space, um, I want to plug this in here. But this one is a float3 and it takes a float4 input. 
So I need to construct a vector and I do that with the vector construct node. So now I can plug this into the XYZ input and I can output the float 4 here, which is just going to use a standard of 1 in W. So here's what that looks like. This is the normal in view space. And as you can see, the color follows the camera around. You can, you can tell that I've always got this pink looking uh, color on surfaces pointing towards the right and green this way, etc. So um, next step is that we want uh, this here view space normals to feed into the UV lookup of our matcap texture. And to do that, um, I'm just going to create some room here because I'm going to add some nodes. Um, we need to, let's have a look at the texture. This texture, um, uh, when it comes to UV space, UV space lookups usually are based around 0 to 1. So I've got 0, 0 here and 1, 1 here. Uh, when it comes to vectors, you get the values in the range of minus 1 to 1. So to go from minus 1 to 1 into 0 to 1, we need to transform this value. And I'll do that. There are several ways to do this. I'll do uh, this way, which is an add node. On the add, I'm going to add, uh, let's see, I need the attribute editor. So highlight this value. Then you can type in a specific value. I'll type in 0.1.0, uh, .0, which takes me from minus 1 to 1 into 0 to 2 here. And then I'll just cut that in half with a multiply node. And I'll just multiply this here value with 0 0.5. And if I cut 0 to 2 in half, I've got 0 to 1. So we've now transformed from minus 1 to 1 into 0 to 1. So I'm ready to hook this value up into a texture node's UV input. So uh, texture map. Um, I need to now um, get just the red and the green part or the X and the Y part of this here float 3 and plug that into the float 2 input called UV. So to just get the X and Y component I need to uh, create, let's see, a vector component. Yep. Um, so into the vector component and then just take the x, y part into this UV input. And let's go ahead and load a texture into this texture map. Let's say I want to use this aluminum uh, texture. There we go. And I can then just, uh, I don't think we need this anymore since we've got a float 4 output here. I can just plug that into the pixel color. And you can now see that I think the shader should be working properly, and it seems to be. So I can go ahead and delete this vector construct. I just used that to visualize the normals for you earlier. So let's just quickly recap what I've, what we've done here. Um, yeah. So we've got the world normal, which gives us the direction of the surface. Uh, we need that in view space, so therefore we create this world view and multiply it. Uh, this comes in a minus 1 to 1 range, and we need it in a 0 to 1 range. So we go ahead and add 1 and multiply by 0 0.5. Then we take just the red and the green, or the x and the y component of this here normal, and we do that by using a vector component and just taking x, y and we feed that into the UV lookup or the UV input of a texture map which we uh, load the matcap texture in. Then just to show this on model you can create these five nodes just to be able to display color. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let us know what you thought about the video and what you want to see next. To see more visit our website or follow us on Facebook and Twitter.